Hi, it's Bernie Goldbach, and you're being viewed and recorded with these Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. Let me tell you some of the things I've learned about using them with students and then around just the general public. I'm over on threads.net as top code, and here is a short use case in the use of the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. So I delivered this talk to the ICT Education Conference. I introduced myself as a creative media lecturer. I own the glasses, two pair of them actually, and they've been pretty helpful in the work I've been doing as a creative media lecturer for the Technological University of the Shannon. I work in a place where I get first-hand experiences, and I'll tell you about the functions, classes, the MetaView functions, some advanced functions, and some developer options that you may encounter if you register as a developer. Basically, they work right out of the box, and that's really handy. There are helpful guides <clears throat> on the app, the MetaView app, that tells you what to do, and then once you learn what the lights are doing and uh, some of the basic language of the app, MetaView app, very quick to install, very user-friendly, and a lot of fun to use, too. These glasses have really good sound built into them. Good, good speakers. If the audio content plays on your handset, then chances are it's going to go through the smart glasses. You'll hear it in the bone audio. And if YouTube plays, well, then you'll hear it, but you won't see the YouTube, of course, in the, in the glasses. And it's really good spatial audio, which means you're getting the sound around from behind to your front, left to right. Excellent audio. We're in Houston Station, listening to announcements, watching them. With MetaView, how are you? You can listen to things without annoying anybody next to you, and then adjust the volume by moving your finger forward to increase the volume or backwards. To decrease it or tapping it, shut it off. I like these Ray-Bans for listening to anything that I normally listen to while driving, in the car, on the train. Google Maps are excellent walking on the street. They'll tell me left, right, up, down, and don't have to hold a phone out there for people to see. They just listen and do. And then there are active learning functions you could do with these. Uh, if you can sit and watch something on a screen or Put them on a student and have them tell you what they've done in front of you or on their screen as they develop something in a sketchbook. See, now if you had the, the student did that and you asked the student to walk through what they're seeing, yeah. you're making an HD portrait view of that. Yeah. So you actually have the student doing a walkthrough that you can use the book. In Post Pro, you could use the audio recording, which is really decent. Yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs> Hello, Meta. Um, these are the Ray-Bans by Meta smart glasses. So we are planning our route um, using the two bus routes, CL1 and CL2. As you can see, they start off with their same destination route. And as you can see, they're going down along from Willow Park all the way down to my showgrounds here but the intersection stops here explains to you the process and safely does it without having to hold a camera or worry about a rig anywhere no loose wires very effective for active learning you stops at Western Road but goes towards Plumel Business Park so, I have one of my favorite journeys in here, is that... This is a better map. That's... Recording you, recording me. How about that, Dylan? Thank you for doing the interview, Bernie Goldberg. You're welcome, Dylan. I will ask for access to developer licensing for it, where I know I'll get more better access to perhaps the search engine tools of Bing, some TripAdvisor business tools, and I think both the combination of the search API and the map API with Bing would allow me to develop some information capability through my instance, my use of the, of the glasses. 
I've seen the glasses respond to questions, who is this? It'll know what I'm asking, but it's unable to provide the answers. But the glasses are connected through MetaView to my contacts. And I expect in the future that perhaps there'll be a toggle setting that lets MetaView see the faces of people I have attached to different contacts. Can you imagine that? I'm looking at you and I ask my glasses, who is this? And it comes back with, that's Bernie Gold. I've already asked that where's the nearest coffee shop. The return results, which weren't exactly right, the results that returned didn't relate to the venue in latitude and longitude where it was, but instead referred back to the registered trading office, another place in town. And then the what I'm looking at is pretty accurate when it came like to the to the Rock of Cashel. I need to mention that I'm an I'm an American living in Ireland. For about six weeks after I purchased the glasses, I discovered that they kind of thought I was in America. And then these capabilities were erased. To, to be continued. We are releasing the new version of Meta AI, our assistant that you can ask any question across our apps and glasses. And our goal is to build the world's leading AI and make it available to everyone. Now, today we are upgrading Meta AI with Llama 3 our new state-of-the-art AI model that we're open sourcing. The bottom line is that we believe that Meta AI is now the most intelligent AI assistant that you can freely use. To make Meta AI even smarter, we've also integrated real-time knowledge from Google and Bing right into the answers. After six months of using the glasses, I like them a lot. I think that they're the first consumer technology I'd welcome to, to wear. Uh, on my face, I feel safer with them riding a bike, driving a car, interacting in public. I just feel safe, safer using them. I do know I have to respect the expectations of privacy that people have, so count me as being kind of hyper aware. Okay, so that's me, Bernie, and that's my experience for the last six months using the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses in education. You can check me out on threads. Top Gold is my name. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.